All right, doors down. Definitely means there's somebody inside. And I left that overnight. It was only about an eight hour set and there's already a visitor. Let's go see who's inside. I don't know about you guys, but I always get excited to see what I've caught. Now I'm guessing it's a brown rat, uh, maybe a mouse, but most likely a brown rat. Yep, looks like we have ourselves the first rat of the day. And this one's pretty chunky. This is about as you know as big as they get for this species. I've seen some that are about you know, a third bigger, but this is the average size uh, around this area. Now, I'm not too versed on my species of, of rats. I don't really know all the species that I'm actually catching. Uh, nonetheless, a rat is a rat to me. They're very destructive, and it's good that I put these traps out because the more I can catch outside, in my mind, the less that I get inside. So we've caught one near the house. Let's go see if we've got any in the ivy. Let's see. Oh. Misfire. Now sometimes uh, rats, uh, you know, brush up along the side of these have a hearts and uh, they actually, um, you know, accidentally trigger the door. The door will slam shut and uh, we can't catch any rats this way. So I actually protect the trigger with um, these bricks. If you notice, uh, as the door, uh, as the rats go in, feed, try to get the bait, they step on the trigger pad, this uh, door arm actuates, flips out and allows the door to slam shut. Now, if a rat is passing through, accidentally bumps the cage, or something big like a raccoon or a possum hits the cage, you know, it's gonna active, it's gonna accidentally set it off. So um, it's good to kind of protect the trigger system and uh, this trigger swing arm if possible. So nothing in that trap, we'll set it and uh, check back tomorrow. Till then, uh, we have something to do with the first rat that we caught. All right, so just one for the day. You know, I have at least 10 active traps. I checked all of the rest of them, but I didn't catch anything. So I have 10 active traps all around the property and almost daily I'm gonna catch something. So, you know, while a lot of you might consider me catching, you know, these rats in their natural habitat, reality is it's gotten to the point where they're getting into the house, they're creating electrical damage, they're chewing on um, the wood, the walls, they're getting into insulation, it's just nuts. So I had to uh, kind of step in and see if I could curb the population. So if you're interested in seeing what happens to these guys and watching me uh, you know catch these guys on the regular feel free to subscribe follow along and uh, share the satisfaction that I get when I catch these vermin so a lot of people wonder what I'm gonna do with this rat probably this is a live catch trap and unfortunately for this guy I really don't release any vermin if I catch him he's uh, gonna be dealt with and I can't show on YouTube what I'm actually gonna do with this guy but let's say I'm a swim teacher and these guys are pretty bad students. So till next time, we'll catch you in the next one. Just as a bonus. In the container that I use to uh, teach these guys how to swim, there's a dead mouse. <laughs> That's crazy. I totally didn't expect a rodent to be in here. Normally I leave a cookware container closed because it's pretty dangerous to have an open vessel of water like that, especially when you have little kids and and uh, you know personal pets running around. But I guess I forgot to leave the lid on last night. This guy probably tried to get a, a sip of water, fell in, and uh, look at that, two for two. I'll take it.